let f of x equals 1 over x. Now we have to find f composed with f at x. Okay, so first thing is, is I don't really like this notation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of this notation and use the other composite function notation. You guys should be familiar with interchanging both of them. Just know that this notation is the same as representing it as this. The first letter is always the outer function and the second letter is always the inner function. So this I'm just going to say is f of f of x. And now we can clearly see that the f of x function is the inner function and this f function is the outer function. But since they're both f's, it doesn't really matter. But when you start having different numbers, starting having different letters, it might get a little bit more confusing. That's why I like this general notation over this. Okay, so with composite functions, we always work from inner to outer function. Innermost parentheses always goes first. And we just said, this is the inner function, innermost parentheses. So we're going to plug in the input. It's usually a number for the inner function and solve. However, they just gave us an x. So the first thing I'm going to do is just say, well, what is f of x? Well, f of x was 1 over x. Okay, that's the answer to the first part. And now we're going to take that answer, and that's going to be our new input that we just solved for, and plug it into the outer function. And the outer function here is the same function. It's the f function. But instead of saying f of x, I now have my new answer that I have to plug in. It's 1 over x. And now let's see. Whenever I see an x value, I need to plug in my new value here. So this x is now going to be 1 over x. So let's see. 1 over, insert what you're plugging in for, 1 over x. And now we just got to simplify. So remember, when we're dividing by fractions, it's the keep, change, change rule. You, instead of dividing by the fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So basically, f of 1 over x would be the same thing as saying 1 times x over 1. And now you can clearly see here that 1 times x over 1, the 1's cancel out if you want to look at it that way, f of 1 over x which equals f of f of x, or it also equals f composed with f at x. They all mean the same thing, but your answer would just be x. x. Okay. That's the simplified form of this composite function. So that's the answer to the first part. Now they say, is f composed with f at x? for any function, right, for any function f, the same result as the answer to part a for any function. Explain. I'm assuming that this is part a. So they're basically saying, this is a convoluting and confusing way of just saying, can I use any f of x value? Can I, can I put in any f of x function and do the same exact thing that we just did, f of f of x? for any function and still get only x as my answer because the answer here was x. So that's what they're saying here. If I make up any function, any function at all, let's try to do the same exact composite function and let's see if we get the same answer. Okay, well, instead of maybe 1 over x, maybe I'll say, I don't know, x plus 2 or x plus 3 or you could even get crazy, you know, you could do like 2x plus 7. It doesn't matter. Make up anything. I'm just going to try to keep it simple here because this is kind of like a theoretical question. Let's just say x plus 2. Okay, now I'm going to take this function and solve for my composite function and let's see if we get the same answer. So remember, this is the inner function, right? And this is the outer function. So the question is, will we get out x as just our answer if we use this function instead of this one. So let's see, the first part is inner function comes first, f of x equals, in this case it's now going to be x plus 2. Now the second part is f of what? 
always the answer to what it was before, x plus 2, which means that for any x value that you see in your function, now you have to replace it with this. So it would be x plus 2 plus 2, because you're, you're finishing out the, you know, before function. And now just solve. f of x plus 2 is x plus 4. Do these answers match? No, this one was just x. This one was x plus 4. So to answer the question, they said, can we use any function and get the same result? No, we cannot. Explain. You can explain mathematically by doing this. This should suffice enough. But that is the answer. No, you cannot. Every function is different. So every composite function is different depending on what function you actually use. And that's it, guys. Easy as this. So we're done here for this lesson, right? Um, tune in for the next lesson to do more composite functions. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Click the like button. Subscribe to us. It will really help the channel grow, and I thank you so much for that. Thank you for coming here for your math help. I'm having tons of fun. Let's get on with the next question. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.